If you want to be the best, if you want to be the apex, you got to give it 100% at all time. Even when your legs are trembling and you're dead tired, the real beasts find a way, no matter what it takes. No, I'm gonna feed them if you're coming for me. Hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head. I'm seeing take me for granted and you know I'm leaving. I'm gonna take what's mine. What do you do when you're not the only one who wants to be a millionaire? You're not the only one who wants to graduate top of the class. You're not the only one who wants to be number one in your industry, in your workplace, in your league. You must work harder. You must get up earlier than them. You must stay up later than them. You must be willing to do more than anyone else would dare to do simply because you want it more than anyone else does. You gotta see that long-term goal as not just a thing you're striving for, but a thing that you must have. You cut off any other outcome other than success. Pushing yourself to the limits isn't a choice. It's an obligation. It is something that you must do no matter what. When you're chasing greatness, when you're hungry for success, there's no room for complacency. There's no room for slacking off. There's no room for taking the easy path. At the end of your feelings, there's nothing but a heap of excuses and missed opportunities. But at the end of a day, with a disciplined mindset, there's a promise. A promise of success, of achievement, of reaching those fucking goals you've set for yourself. It's the disciplined motherfucker who works when they just don't want to get up anymore. They continue to grind when all their competition is heading home for the day. They fight harder and harder and harder every day without taking days off. Every day you let your feelings dictate your actions. You're pushing your dreams further and further away. That one day you hit the snooze button or skip the gym could be the day that sets you back weeks, months, or even years. It's the guy who hustles the most who will catch all those breakthroughs in the late hours and early mornings when 99.99% .99 of people are in bed or hanging out, wasting their time. You gotta make sure you are one of those very few people who are putting in those extra hours, getting further and further ahead of everybody else. So what do you do when you're tired, worn out, or just plain sick of the grind? You go anyways. You get it done no matter what. Even if you're just going through the motions, you go through the fucking motions. You push through. Because to you, you understand that getting things done is non-negotiable. You don't have an option. It doesn't matter how tired you are. It doesn't matter if you're feeling okay today. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is getting up and getting after it. Everybody has great fucking plans. Everybody has these giant ambitions for what they want to do. But the reason most people will never bring them into fruition is because they lack the mental toughness and discipline to get their ass up and grind on that fucking project, on that fucking mission, on that test, every single day, consistently, without straying from the plan. So you gotta make a full commitment that I am going to do this thing nonstop for as long as it fucking takes, for as many days as it fucking takes until it is done. If your competition works 10 hours, you work 11. If they make 15 sales, you make 16. If they score 90, you score 100. No matter what they do, you work relentlessly to one-up them every damn time. You don't really want to work out? Tough sh you work out. You don't want to hammer away at that project? Too bad, you hammer away. Don't want to get up out of bed? You get up and get your ass out of bed. Don't let that small voice of immediate gratification whisper in your ear. Shut that sh down. Go through the motions, lift the weights, sprint the hills, work on the project, and move yourself forward closer to victory. You're gonna miss parties. You're gonna have people question you. You're gonna lose some friends. You're gonna have to give up some of the things you enjoy for a while. You may be the only person that understands what you're doing, but if you wanna change your life, if you wanna be the man or woman that you aspire to be, that is a part of the game. You can't do all the same things, have all the same habits, hang around the same people and expect a different result. Wanting to change is not enough. If you're not willing to fundamentally change your priorities, change your environment, change your actions, you're not gonna win.
You got to be willing to give some things up in order to go up. You don't get paid for effort. You don't get paid for trying. You get paid for executing. You get paid for finishing. And that's what separates the champions from the rest. You set your standard, raise it, and uphold it every f***ing day. You're going up against other champions. And you think giving 50, 60, 70% is going to cut it? Absolutely not. If you want to be the best, if you want to be the apex, you got to give it 100% at all times. Even when your legs are trembling and you're dead tired, the real beasts find a way, no matter what it takes. The more you make those short-term decisions based on instant gratification, the further you're going to stray from your path to greatness. Don't fall into that trap. Think strategically. Think long-term. You need tactical victories. You need to win battles to win the war. Getting up and running when you'd rather be sitting on the couch, working on your craft when you'd rather be out with your friends, eating clean when you'd rather be eating all that sugary crap. You got to do these things. Don't question it. Don't hesitate. Just do it. When you do these things, even when they're not fun, even when your feelings are telling you just this one time, you got to remind yourself that you are investing in yourself today for a better tomorrow. Every time you make that decision to take the heart away, you're getting stronger. One plus one will always equal two. Two plus two will equal four. And 10 years of relentless work putting in more hours than anyone else is willing to, while all these other people are partying on weekends and making excuses, will set you ahead. Resources, time, money, network we don't have. When you look at the most powerful and effective people in history, we're never the problem. They didn't have the resources, but they got them. How do people get resources when they don't have them? The answer is, they're resourceful. The ultimate resource is resourcefulness. That's what makes someone successful. And here's what's great about resourcefulness. Who has it within them? Who? Every human being, the question is whether you access it or not. If you're creative enough, can you find an answer to the problem, yes or no? If you're determined enough, can you find the money that you don't have? Can you find it, yes or no? If you care enough and get other people to care with you, can you get them to help you, yes or no? If you are bold enough, if you're strong enough, if you're disciplined enough, can you get yourself to do things other people cannot find a way to do, yes or no? See, the ultimate resource is resourcefulness. But the minute you forget that, you come up with a story that goes, I don't have the money, I don't have the time, I can't do it, it's too far away. That's what's going to kill you. Most people don't ever make it where they want to go because they give themselves mental outs. And a lot of people who have resources, they have other choices. They can say, oh, this is f***ing hard. So they quit. They can say, oh, this business doesn't make enough money. So they quit. When you don't have any other option but to succeed, your chances of success are pretty f***ing good. You have to try and put yourself in positions where your back is against the wall, guys. Because when your f***ing back is against the wall, that's when you're going to f***ing fight. There's no capability difference between you and someone you consider to be an ultimate role model of success. The only difference is they've learned to manage their state and they've learned to control their mental focus. Whatever we concentrate our focus on consistently, we strive to learn from, we will get great at. I don't care what it is, if you focus on it daily and you strive to be better, you're going to make little distinctions that will make you more and more effective every single day. You should figure out what is it you desire in life and figure out the steps to get there and start working a plan to get there and minimizing everything else. Getting very clear on the mission, very clear on the mission and working the plan. Everything else, guess what it gets? A no. This is the truth of success. Most people can't succeed because they can't deal with all the old motherfuckers pulling them off the game plan. You're going to have to get real f***ing comfortable sticking to your own plan and telling them no when they want to go out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you want to win, whether it's this year or next year or f***ing ever, you're going to have to get real comfortable keeping your head on your plan and put the time into making yourself happy. It's one thing to be hungry. It's another thing when you're starving, starving for greatness and starving for success. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. 
You develop incredible swimming skills. You find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. If you want to be successful, if you want to dominate in the area, you got to let everything go but that thing you pursue. You can't chase two rabbits and catch both of them. But you put your attention on one and go after it. You concentrate on winning. You concentrate on dominating. Listen to me. Meditate on this stuff. Focus on this stuff. And when we focus on that, that's where our energy is going to go. I need you to take ownership of your thoughts. I need you to say with me, this is my mind. These are my thoughts. I control what I think. Not the circumstances, not the situations. I control what I think. I choose where I'm going and I will use my thinking. I will use my thoughts to make the rest of my life the best of my life. What are you doing right now? Are you not doing anything? Are you doing something stupid? Or are you making progress? What are you doing right now? We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger.